So the prepared mind kind of gets back to this concept of going deep, building these sort of, you know, points of view, almost as if you were, you were going to start a company, build a company uh, from scratch in, in one of those areas. And that looks more like, you know, what I used to do as a, as a product designer, as a product manager, um, not as an investor. And I, you know, I think few folks actually approach uh, the venture industry that way. But, you know, I mean, in spite of all the time we spend doing that, uh, you know, the time we spend getting, you know, smart in specific areas, um, we, we also acknowledge that some of our best investments emerge through a collision of accidents, of meeting the right people when, you know, they're kind of looking for some help that, you know, we, we think we can kind of uniquely um, assist them with. And so I think that the ambition to sort of have some points of view, to kind of put some stakes in the ground, to publish your ideas, I mean, when I worked on the way to design my book, I was sort of putting myself out there. I was, I was, I was talking to 50 designer founders. I was sharing some things that were hypotheses that I had about kind of, um, you know, a, a time for designer founders to really kind of begin to kind of take the reins of, of, of great entrepreneurial endeavors. And so, you know, w- whether it's in the form of a book or uh, a talk at a, you know, a tech crunch uh, conference or, um, you know, a, a blog post or an article for Forbes, I think we were putting ourselves out there. That's the sort of ambitious part. But then there's a humility in our business, which is knowing that we we aren't the ones building the future. We're the passengers here uh, and the facilitators with capital and with time and with focus and feedback and concentrated effort. But we aren't the ones who are going to kind of go build that from zero to one. And so I think that's the, that's the open mind part of it. Uh, the prepared mind is the work we do to kind of, in some senses, attract those entrepreneurs to have the first conversation, but then the open mind is is the humility part of our business. 